everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea today I am doing the if I could only keep 10 palettes challenge I know that everybody is probably over this by now but I still wanted to do it so I'm gonna do it so these are not in any particular order like I did not go and rank them one through ten or or anything like that these are just on an initial look through my collection, the 10 that when I saw them, I knew that I would repurchase. So these are not picked for any reason as far as functionality. Like if I could only have 10 eyeshadow palettes, I didn't Think like okay I need one neutral palette and I need one like this and this and this I just looked at the palettes and thought would I miss this if I didn't have it anymore and these are the ones that I knew I would want to repurchase the first one is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette even though I don't really support Too Faced right now I'm, but this is what it looks like everybody knows what this looks like but this out of all of them is probably the most neutral palette but I mean and I wouldn't only keep it just because it smells really good because it does still smell really good but these types of tones look really good on my eyes I love this shade luscious like the rose gold metallic and I'm like most people I'm not a huge fan of like the darker shades that are basically blacks with shimmer but then once you get them on your eye they're just basically a really dark color but I can work with them and overall I this is probably this is one of my oldest palettes probably also one of my most used palettes so I would definitely want this to stay in my collection. The next one that is probably pretty similar to that is my ColourPop Sweet Talk. You can see, maybe you can see, I've hit pan on two of the shades. This shade Work It is one of like my favorite matte colors. It's just it pulls way more orange than it looks in here, but it's just a really nice transition color. And like these, it's a very shiny, shiny palette. These are like my tones. These just make my eyes look so blue and I love it. So I would definitely pick this one up again. Whoops. We're gonna stick with ColourPop because I have two more palettes from them. Even though I like I like all of my ColourPop palettes, but these are the ones where I was looking through and I'm like, I would 100% repurchase these. And the next one is my Femme Rosa She palette. This is, I think they had another like they made another one where the shade names were actually inside but I have the the old one where they are all on the back this is my first my very first color pop palette my sister got this for me for Christmas like three years ago right when I whenever I first started getting to makeup she got me this for Christmas and I mean I just love it I always get a good eye look. It's all, it's got the purples and the oranges and some pinks and a, even a little bit of red over here, like more of a burgundy. But I like the color combos that I can get with this. And I haven't checked in a while. I know it was limited edition and then they like brought it back and then I'm not sure if it's discontinued again, but if it was not discontinued and I lost all my eyeshadow palettes, I would definitely repurchase it. 
This next one I'm including even though I know it's discontinued and if for some reason I did lose all my eyeshadow palettes I could not repurchase it but I would want to is my good sport palette from ColourPop. This is like the most perfect, well not the most perfect, it's one of the most perfect fall palettes because it has gold and green and like dark purple and orange and like this really dark burgundy right here and I know that I have not used this nearly enough but I've used it enough to know that I would really miss it if I did not have it anymore. Next I would choose my The Deuce by Juvia's. Even though you can really only get a couple of very specific looks I feel like with this palette. I love the looks that you can get with it and I, there's just something about the color story with the pinks and that purpley color and this green is one of my favorite greens and just the way you can put them all together. I love this palette. This and the next palette I'm going to show you like the two Juvia's Place palettes I picked. I would have a really hard time picking my favorite from these two but they're both ones that I would definitely repurchase so the Deuce and then the next one that I would definitely repurchase would be the Magic Mini. Like just look look at these two rows I mean this is why I bought the palette. This shade Faso is one of my favorite colors and I think it's telling maybe but like each one of these palettes pretty much maybe with the exception of Good Sport and She I think all of these palettes I'm talking about at least one of the shades in them is like in my top 10 out of my collection so that's another reason why these are palettes that I would choose because they all have that, that one shade in them that I just love so much that I would probably rebuy the palette just for that shade. And the shade Faso is it for me in this palette. It's so gorgeous. Next, I have my two colored rain palettes, my Queen of Hearts, which I like to keep in this the little sleeve because look at how pretty it is. This is another one that I haven't used nearly enough, but this is a more neutral palette, but it's still colorful enough, but the formula and the quality on these is just so good. Like I would, I would rebuy this in a heartbeat. And then of course, I'm sure everybody knows my Safari Rain palette. It's just, oops, again, this shade Lioness, it's in my top 10. Like it's just the best gold I've ever put on my eyes. The greens are amazing. I love this row of like reds and oranges. And then this, what is this one? Amazon Basin. Like. These two, I mean, they all, all of the metallics have, I think the same formula or I don't know, but these two are definitely like the creamiest, most reflective out of all of them, but they're all, they're all really, really shiny. <laughs> like, I don't know. They're just all so good. And I would definitely, I mean, again, they are doing like a really limited restock, but I don't know if they're already like sold out of that or what so this is another one along with the good sport where if for some reason I lost all my palettes it's not one that I could repurchase but I would really want to <laughs> and finally I have two palettes from ABH the first is my subculture I've only used this twice but I already know that I would want to repurchase it. I don't know what it is. 
about this color story that just and like when this palette first came out I remember watching a bunch of videos on it and I wasn't interested at all but it was just like oh hey Raw Beauty Christie's doing a video and whoever else is doing a video I'll just watch it and I just like I did not I was not interested at all and I don't know what happened I don't know if it's just from like seeing so many people on Instagram posting their looks with it and posting their palettes or whatever but as time went on the color story just like grew on me more and more and I I sat on this for about six months before I finally decided like yes I'm going I'm going to buy it and I'm so happy I did and I would definitely rebuy it again in a heartbeat if something happened to this one and then the last one which is also limited edition but I believe is still available on the ABH website I don't know how much longer it's going to be available for but it's my Jackie Ina palette this is more of I would call it a colorful neutral palette like it's pretty neutral especially when you get over onto this side and like I mean basically right in here you've got your pops of color and the rest is neutral but it's such a good formula I love this shade sponsored it's one of those like brownie green kind of duochrome shades that I feel like for a while a lot of brands were doing it like I know the wet and wild comfort zone has um, a shade very similar to that but this one has I feel like a lot more of that dingy goldy green in it than some of the other ones that makes it stand apart from the other duochromes in this like color category and it is one of again this is straight sponsored is in one of my top 10 like it's just so nice and yeah I don't know this something about this color story just it just intrigues me and I really love this palette so those are my 10 palettes that I would repurchase if it was possible to repurchase them all <laughs> as I said like there's no there's no real rhyme or reason to why I picked them other than I love them no no strategic planning on color stories or how they work together or anything like that just purely when I saw the palette I knew that it was something that I would miss if it was suddenly gone. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I would be really interested to know if any of these would be in your top 10 or if you would have different palettes, what those palettes in your top 10 would be. And I will talk to you later. Bye.